Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today I have a haul from Crafts Dash and uh, it came in about a week. I'm here in the States and I'm excited to look at these things. So let's take a look at them together. I just unpackaged it. First thing I'll do the tiny one here. I don't have a ton of Cosmic Shimmer products, so I'm curious to try this. I saw this on someone's channel and this is the Cosmic Shimmer Antique Sand Paste by Sam Poole. And um, I really, I've got some dyes down here by Sam Poole and uh, encouraged to try that out. The Magnetic Dust Tidy from Made to Surprise Crafts from Sam Calcott. It's a little cute diamond shape and I think it's got a magnet in here. Yeah, so it's got a magnet in there. Um, let's see if I've got a little die handy. All right, so the dies will stick to that, and then you can put things inside there and keep that, maybe the little dies inside. I'll have to check out how to use that, but you can keep that on your desk. And a pretty strong magnet. Magnet. <clears throat> it is uh, Claire Therese in the Forest by Craft Consortium. This is the 6x6 six six pad, and uh, I really love her paintings. Um, it either is already up or will be up, but I have a book flip through of her latest book and, um, it is, I just, I love her artwork. It's very, very pretty. Look at that. I like that. Beautiful colors. So that's a six by six. It also comes in 12 by 12 and has some other uh, stamps and things that go along with that. Then I got the Creative Craft Products Stamp Platform, and it comes with four magnets, and I was intrigued by this. I do have the um, Tim Holtz one, and I really like that, but um, what I really love about this <laughs> is the magnet deal here. I will leave all the affiliate links down below. Um, if you click on those links and purchase those products, it doesn't cost you any more money, but it just does help support this channel, so if you would consider that that would be great this is okay all right so the back has this like foamy bit there and then okay both uh, inches and it looks like centimeters um, and then it's got these I love that idea I think that's great and they're very strong I can feel that so if you're stamping and it's nice you have four to kind of play around with in case you have a page that's awkward or whatever. Yeah, I like that. I'll be looking forward to using that. It seems like really great quality. It's nice thick plastic here. Um, and then this is probably maybe to keep it from rolling around on your station. Um, oh, these little feet go in. So we'll have to see, like, that must be to adjust whether it's a rubber stamp or a poly polyphotom or the clear kind. Special on Craft Stash, they run different specials, and they had this set here of Paper Discovery DL Card Builder die set and um, the Square Editions die set and the Round Panel Editions die set. So the main die set, these nesting circles and squares, and then it comes with this, and then this, and then this, so you can do your mat and layers like that. And then the three panels that um, do have edges that do require, you can either cut them into the paper or use this around the outside to cut them out, but it's got this nice um, pattern here, and then this sort of ornate one, that's probably my favorite. And then this like flowery geometric one here are these three patterns here and then of course you can cut that out that looks like a frame because it's got the inner and the outer bit corner pieces one two and then some inlets that you can do you know like that looks like and lots of choices for that so two of each of each kind, just like the picture shows there. And then the square one, you know, it won't take time to take all of this out, but you can see the different inlets, the corner pieces, and then the two different kinds of corners. This one kind of has a curdy bit there, and then the frame of the um, 
square bit there. I did get this one Studio Light stamp because this coordinates with some dies that I have, specifically this stamp here, the flag, and I believe the circles. Um, so I wanted to have that. I love the grunge side that it goes with. There's a better picture on the back there that you can see. And that's great for mixed media. It's great for your gel prints. You can stamp right on your gel plate and um, make lots of fun patterns with that. So that's our paper graph discovery or paper discovery was this. Um, this is a cut and emboss. So it's going through making those tiles and you can see the cutting line is right all automatically in there. So you can run your paper through once and then it'll cut out those three for you. And then you can like ink over them or you can put ink on this um, before you run it through. And um, this is called Moroccan Nights Tile Pattern Builder Cut and Embossing Folder. I uh, have some digital paper with tiles in my shop. All right, the um, next one here is some creative expressions from Sam Poole. I was really looking forward to this. This is not the whole collection, but just uh, it came with a couple bundles. So I think this came in a bundle. It's called Shabby Blooms Paper Pad. I'll do a quick flip through there for you. Okay, so some papers, um, but I love this doily. Look at that doily. It's like this ripped, shabby, torn, imperfect doily. So I really like that. The size of that is about four and a half inches. So you can use it on a card or you can rip parts off of it and use it that way, like tucking behind things. But that's a great die next great die is this shabby basics coin pocket so let me show you that so it cuts out this piece and then you fold it up and it's got like an accordion bit there so you can kind of fit more in rather than just the one fold over so it's got that dimension to it which is nice these are great for junk journals and things or you can make seed packets but this folds folds in like that and you have that slit that's cut right into that and then this tab will come down and tuck in there and then they've been also enclosed uh, a tag that fits that you can pop in which you can see here in the picture there so very cute very excited to try that out also in that collection uh, is this shabby textures and um, clear stamp set and you can see sorry about the glare there um, so you can see there the fun, fun textures, little tiny hearts, little shabby hearts, and um, all sorts of grids and dots and bricks and things. So great stamp set to have in your arsenal. Never goes out of style. That's shabby Basics Alpha in Number Set. And um, I liked the style of these and the size. They are like, how tall are they? They are about just shy of three quarters of an inch. Okay, this is probably from a different set. Is from the Papier de Paris. So the Papers of Paris, uh, Creative Expressions. This is an A4 size, um, which I'm in the US, but I actually like the A4 sizes because it gives you room to make envelopes and things. But look how pretty that is. I love that. I used to sew professionally. <laughs> I love that little Gibson girl there. Beautiful florals. It's a really nice paper pad. You can check that out. Again, there will be links for all everything I can find down below for you to be able to click right on that. Um, before I get to Simply Made Crafts, I did get a couple things from Memory Box. One was this Hello Friend. I thought that was a great one just to have. It was a great size. Oops backwards of course but uh, it would be like that but <laughs> hello friend and and I like that with the shadow layer um, for cards you can cut a bunch of those out and glue them together and have them ready to stick on cards the gentle blossom watercolor floral I love these layered florals they kind of first ones I ever got were from Altenew where you start with a basic one and you sometimes you can like spray different papers and cut them out of that and then it looks very organic and pretty and then you just layer the bits on there and you have the leaves as well and then I got two simply made crafts it is one of my favorite craft stash brands um, I got the mini doctor's bag I don't think I actually ended up getting the larger doctor's bag um, but the mini one suits me really well um, it's like that with that on the side pieces, I believe that is, and the little buckles, and it's all stitched. Very, very cute. 
I kind of liked this. This is the perfume bottle die set, and this is a newer one, I think. That actually, they're both newer, but um, comes with 14 dies. Yeah, it is um, these are the little fold in tabs to make your box, and I just think that could be really cute. Um, especially Valentine's Day coming up, and you get the layering pieces for some of these. Uh, and a label and whatnot and the layering pieces for the top of the bottle once you put it together so very cute she's great with the boxes that is my stash go ahead and give a thumbs up and subscribe down below check out those affiliate links and my website and my etsy store there thanks so much guys i hope you have a great day